Hi guys, it is Sterling from Yar Crypto bringing you another update for the Bitcoin chart. I'm currently looking at the BTC to USD chart on the four hour time frame for Bitstamp on TradingView.com. As you can see, in the last few days, we did go down even more for the Bitcoin price and we got rejected at $31,025. The current price as I'm recording this video is $34,082, so we did see a little bit of a bounce. But I want to show you guys two Fibonacci retracements that were very confluent for this price action that we're seeing currently. And one goes all the way back to January 14th, in the beginning of the year. And I circled them in pur purple so you could see them more clearly. And if we take my Fibonacci tool and go from that high of January 14th all the way down to January 21st to the bottom of that wick, we have the 236 Fib level and the 0.5 Fib level. And we found support on the 236 Fib level during that leg of price action. So now if I go to the price action that we're seeing currently on today's date, we found support right there on that 236 Fib level of that retracement. We did wick a little bit under it, but as you can see, that was very confluent for what the price action that we're seeing currently. And we also did get rejected right here on this 0.5 Fib level, guys. So that wick that we're seeing on that blue candle did show you some rejection during um, an upswing when you're seeing that on the green candle and that wick to the upside and we're seeing a red candle currently so that is showing you some rejection that we're seeing currently as for the momentum oscillators guys there was a bearish divergence that printed on the momentum oscillators and that's why we also did see a dip it sh showed you that the buy pressure was weakening and we couldn't keep on going at these prices and i'm going to show you that bearish divergence that printed but before i do that i also want to show you one more fibonacci retracement and I, it was a Fibonacci retracement that I made in my previous video. So let me get rid of that other retracement. And let's look at this leg of price action from this top wick right on May 21st all the way down to this bottom wick on May 23rd. So as you could see, on that 0.5 Fib level, after we couldn't find support on there again and reclaim that support, we fell down to the 3A2 Fib level. And once we fell down from that level... We went all the way down to this bo this bottom wick, which was, again, $31,025. That's where we wicked out at the bottom and did see a bounce. And that was also a confluent line in the previous Fibonacci retracement from January 14th. Now, it's really interesting because if you look at the crypto, the Ichimoku cloud, we did see that this Ichimoku cloud had a ribbon this blue ribbon on the Ichimoku cloud was actually very confluent with this Fibonacci, uh, this Fib line, this Fib level, the 236 Fib level. So we currently broke through that ribbon and that Fib level, and we're trying to find support. So let me just show you guys the, the bearish divergence that printed on the momentum oscillator. So I currently have, let me get just get rid of this Fibonacci retracement. And sorry, guys. And let me get rid of this Ichimoku cloud. So as you can see, on this leg of price action, we're going to look at this bearish divergence that printed. So from May 29th all the way to June 3rd, we went up, made higher highs. Yet on this momentum oscillator on this MACD, we made a lower high. And... That just showed you that the buy pressure was not able to keep us going at these levels anymore, and it's called bearish divergence. And if I take a look at the ADO indicator, which I also use for detecting divergence, and it's a very good indicator. A lot of people don't actually use it. A lot of people don't know about it. It's called the ADO, the Advancing Declining Oscillator. And you also saw lower highs on this momentum oscillator during the time when we made higher highs on the price action so yeah guys that was just a quick update for you all so stay tuned to our channel for more market updates and ta tutorials for now keep watching those charts and best of luck on your trading until next time we are yar crypto take care